Okay, what do we get this time? Hopefully something a little more inspiring. Oh, Book of Exalted Deeds. I mean, that's, uh... Can't lose the game is pretty good. Hand of Vecna. This is pretty good. I can't see this working in this uh, format. I also don't know that it's worth trying to jump through the hoops of our three colored mana to turn it on. Fighter class. Okay, looks like I might be in Boros. I mean, what do I have to splash, like, one green to get him in? I mean, this deck just kind of built itself, didn't it? Yeah, but let's, uh, let's just... Let's just slow down. See what we've got in other colours. Surprising number of artifacts so far. This Demogorgon is at least a little bit inspired by Stranger Things and a little bit inspired by D&D Demogorgon. Okay, so it looks like this might be what we're doing. Pretty much our creature base, isn't it? 16 creatures is actually not too bad. Some removals. Do I want this? I don't really have life gain. I mean, I've got one life linker. And one dude that gains me a life and draws me a card. Please go back into the deck. Yeah. Nah, I don't think he goes in. 
Um, you are one of the better equipments I have, so are you. Okay, I already have too many cards. Might actually need to cut a creature to fit in another piece of equipment. If I do, it'll definitely be a... Have one... Two... Three, four, four pieces of equipment. Problem is, I do not have Hand of Vecna in my deck right now, and I want it in there. Okay, Dunskis. That was a quick one. That was a quick one. Let's see how we go. I don't think these Boris equipment decks are particularly great. But definitely seem to be where our cards were pointing. This guy's a little awkward. It's essentially a six card hand. But I mean, I've got a two drop, a three drop, a four drop. So. I guess we okay. And a five drop. Assuming we draw land, we get a nice smooth curve up to five. Nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Wouldn't mind a, another red or a green. What did our opponent keep? What did they keep? No red mana is what they kept. I think flashing this in is the uh, best thing we can do this turn. So we're going to lose our Zorn, unfortunately. But we're not making a lot of treasure in this deck anyway. He's really just there to fill a curve. Um... That's interesting. That's an interesting way to block. Yep. Take it, it's yours. What a beating. What a beating. <laughs> Hands a bit weird, but all good. Just need more mana. Otherwise, it's actually pretty nice. We can dig up our um, dueling rape here with this, and if we have another red source by then, we can play this into the dueling rape here.
I think we just play this then. Whiffs, a little bit unfortunate, but what does one do? Noise. So I'll just block the Fang Blade with this if I'm given the chance. And then next turn I can fight a class and hold up the shield. Happily take that block. Happily. Oh. Ruined my plans. Maybe I should have got the uh, Vecna thing there. So if they're going to kill it, now's the time. They are not. Cool. Get through for four in the air then. What you got over there? What you got over there, Kurofun? Let's have some Kuro fun. Playing this wonderful card game together. Mind of Cowardice. Yep, them's me lands. Them's me permanents. That's your fang blade. That is fine. That's me ten six. Cool. 14 on the snout. 14 directly on the snout. That's... That is a beating. I don't know why this is in my deck. I can't gain that much life. Mm. Well, I've gone from being the aggressor to very much being the defender here. Damn it. Man. That one, that combination of two cards right there just 
absolutely undid us. Ah, it'll do. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Wizard class, what do you do? Yeah, cool. Here's my three one flyer. And Simic too. Draw a couple cards. Cool. So three turns, our opponent's done nothing. This is a more efficient use of our mana. Ooh. Something stabbed into my Okay, good game. Yeah, so that seems to be what decks with these are uh, Boros uh sorry, what games with these Boros equipment decks tend to go like in my experience, being on the other side of them. You either get run over or you do the running over. Which is why I tried to put a few more creatures into my deck. Um, so that if one can get removed, I don't immediately flop. Um, speaking of which, I don't think this hand is capable. I can't actually do anything to like turn four. This is a lot better. So I think... Hmm. I'm actually going to put back a land. <coughs> so again, I want to have that backup creature, if at all possible. I don't actually know how much I like Hand of Vecna. So this is unfortunate. I don't have a way to deal with this at the moment. I think we play out another creature. That way we don't get completely blown out if the smith dies. Kill off their best creature rather than the little chumper. The 
lifelinks nice here as well. Okay. I mean, that sucks, obviously, but... does suck. That sucks as well. Hey, they got the manticore to work. Wonder what they've got here. Please don't be instant speed removal. Lifelink was very nice there. Our opponent is definitely winning the value game, but um, <clears throat> we're just going to keep him under pressure, I guess. Keep him under pressure. So I've got two decent threats instead of just the one. Sure. Completed the dungeon twice now. We have essentially only got one card in hand. This doesn't actually do anything. Panda's got a pretty sweet deck. I'm about it. I am about it.
Ugh. All right, well, we're pretty uh, roundly defeated here. Pretty roundly defeated. There's just like a thousand ways they can attack through for lethal next turn, so that game's over, sadly. I mean, that was a pretty sweet deck, that Demir, um, venture. This hand's terrible. This hand is a lot better. Oh, what do I put back? I think it has to be that guy. Now I wish it was a land. <laughs> Didn't want to use this. Can kill something bigger later. This can kill that guy next turn. Okay, I mean, if they're not going to attack, I'll just keep building my board. Sure. Now, if they want to trade with the priest, I'm pretty happy with that. Nope, they don't want to. Cool. Ooh, hello. I really wish it hadn't uh, tapped like that. Take the more aggressive line, I'll kill this next turn. But you know, this guy's a two turn clock at the moment. Plus hopefully with this they might just hold back two blockers. We got a thousand different ways to have two blockers now, so That is eight damage. Go for the blowout. Obviously, would have liked to uh, use the removal on this guy, but this puts them in a bit more of a bind, doesn't it? Yep, and they scoop. 
quite a bit more of a bind by the looks of it. Okay, um, this hand will do. It's not great, but it'll do. I keep forgetting this has a, has two equip costs. I like it a bit more with uh, being able to just pay mana for it. Hand's gotten a lot better since we hit that third mana. Definitely not taking the book there. Can't cast it and it does nothing anyway. Really regret putting that in my deck. Bit choked on mana here. But the cool thing with this is um, I'm creating two big threats. I can put the equipment on the hawk and it flies, and the smith just grows each time I play equipment anyway. And they scoop that easy. Mono blue defeated. So I feel like they actually probably were not mono blue and they were a bit stuck on uh, colours, which might be why they scooped so readily. Okay, this hand is a bit of a tire fire. I do not like this more. Okay, looks like we might be getting our last loss here. Oh no, I messed that up. I needed to play a red to slap down Zorn. Oopsie. Oh, it's beginning of combat on my turn. Okay, I stuffed this up pretty badly. Yeah, we're going to get defeated here. I forgot it's only on my turn that that triggers. So I basically just threw away half my life for no reason. So let's just get out of here. Let's just skedaddle. Waiting for that server. I mean, we still did pretty well. 1400 gems back and some bonus packs. I ain't going to complain. Speaking of packs, let's go open some. Teaching of the Archaics, nice. So this will be in Archives. Tezzeret's Gambit, I uh, don't much care for that. Silver Cruel Command, dope. A little too expensive and sorcery speed, but otherwise dope. Yeah. Alright, that'll do it for today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay brilliant.